Hi, I'm Mano Marks. I'm a developer advocate on the Google Maps developer relations team. I'm coming to you from our Sydney office where I'm going to be talking to you about using geocoding with the Google Maps uh, SDK for iOS. Now geocoding is the art of turning an address into a lat long pair uh, with some additional information. Let me show you an example. You see my screen here. Uh, I'm in the iOS si um, simulator. I'm going to try and uh, geocode Sydney, New South Wales, because that's where I am. So I click on geocode and it returns to me, um, shifts the, uh, the center of the map and returns to me the latitude and longitude so I can create a marker there and actually gives it me the full formatted address as well. Now this is done using the Google Geocoding API. So this is something that we, uh, we use when we're looking um, at uh, doing geocoding on mobile devices. It's a web service that can return either JSON or XML and allows you to, uh, to get a lot of information about it. You can see here a JSON, a standard JSON uh, um, return. Uh, so you'll see here there's uh, lots of different information in there. You get address components, so you get like the street number, the street, the city, state or province, the zip, the country, all that sort of thing, as well as a formatted address and a geometry, which has, includes a latitude longitude pair. Uh, there's some uh, more information in here as well. You get some viewport, viewpoints and the location type. Um, we're going to just concentrate on the latitude longitude pair. Okay, so let's take a look at the code here. So what I've done is I've created a, uh, an object, ge geocoding service. Let's take a look at the header file here. All I've got on it is init and a geocoding address that takes a string. Um, and then it has as a property, a dictionary, uh, which is just a uh, geocode. So what I do is, um, when I initialize it, I set geocode to uh, zero, zero, that's latitude and longitude zero, um, and call it Null Island. Anybody play Myst? It's an old video game, Null Island is at zero, zero. Anyway, um, then in geocode address, I just create a string, which is the base URL, which you can see here, and uh, pass in the address and then uh, as a parameter to that string and then I construct a URL out of it. Um, it's uh, important to do a string by adding percent escapes using encoding um, and then I use UTF string uh, encoding just uh, in case it, uh, it's an address that comes from uh, a different set of uh, characters than ASCII or whatever else I'm using. Uh, so then I create an NSURL object and uh, here I'm doing dispatch sync, which is uh, synchronous dispatch, just for to make the code a little bit easier for uh, a demo purposes. But you probably want to do this in an async manner so that when you send off the geocode request, you can keep doing other things um, and then come back to it. Um, OK, so then I create an NS data object, um, data with contents of URL, that particular URL. And I set a, uh, I use uh, fetch data is my, um, is my callback. So when it, when it uh, uh, fetches the data, it, uh, it um, puts it into this data object. Okay, so then um, what I do is I use NS dictionary JSON, uh, NS JSON serialization, um, JSON with object data. So I'm just creating a serialization of the JSON as a NS dictionary, and then I can just pull out the different uh, sets of things. So uh, it's a results object, so um, I, I pull out results object, and then I get the individual results. So it's possible that you'll get more than one result if uh, we're not 100% confident that, uh, that we're giving you is the full uh, and complete address. Um, so then uh, I'm pulling out the full, the first result, and then I just pull out the um, address and latitude and longitude using um, object for key formatted address. Um, then I pull out geometry, which gives me, has a location object, which is 
uh, latitude and longitude. It's kind of this, you know, stepping through, basically stepping through creating these little dictionaries and strings for each of the, the different values. And then I uh, create a dictionary object that has the latitude and longitude and pass that to, uh, and make the, uh, the geocode property equal to that object. And then in my service, what I did was um, I have an object that, uh, you know, I have my view and I have my button and I have all that. I'm not going to get into all of that at the moment, but um, I just have an add marker function that gets called when, uh, when I'm done. So uh, you can see it's actually pretty conceptually pretty easy to use a, a geocoding web service. You can also apply this then to our directions and other uh, APIs as well. So um, hopefully this will get you started. And I'm going to post this to my GitHub repository, github.com slash nanomarks. You'll see uh, under demos, you'll see uh, this code up. Uh, and we'll link to that in the uh, description of the video as well. So thanks a lot and uh, happy geocoding.